smoke and just jumping into it. Oh, Zywood caught off by Monacy. Monacy could get them both here and he has a dream start to the G2 pistol round. Ake site clear, bomb to be planted. And I'm not sure what the best case scenario is for the rest. Keep holding your Kevlar. You know, he's got no, nothing to risk. Oh, well, at least he's done some damage to Flames. Forced out the nades of Apex there as well. Oh. All right, G2, start strong. Not going to write Nico out of a further contribution. It's Monacy going to try and be the spearhead of the assault. Not ready for Magis. Dead, Nico is low here. That's a problem. Three on three, but the HP is going to favor Vitality. Yeah, I think Magis has got at least one more. He brings the fight to Nico. A clean headshot. He's done a lot here. The Dane holding on to his side. He's taken Hunter as well. Magis, the one man army on the back of the B side. Finally, JKS fells him. But the damage is done. The bomb to be planted. And a clutch is on JKS. What have you got for us? We've been talking about this kid's impact. This is the type of round he needs to pull out of his ass right here. They got smokes, but no kits. So the more we can rot that clock, the better. Just holding for that tight banana crawl. Spinks taking his time. Zai, we're working up from CT. JKS not interested in that exchange. Oh, he manages it perfectly onto Zaiwu. And he knows where you're coming from. Spinks brings the fight. Need to be careful. JKS under scrutiny. Spinks is pushing. Time is of the essence. He's rotting the clock nicely. I think Spinks has got time. And they clutch up. Vitality will take it. A combination of their forces. Magis with a whole lot on that FAMAS. Now, yeah, Jacob's going to be kicking himself there, right? You see a little bit wobbly with the aim down to the Y. Just had to lay a couple seconds more, and it is going to be the Force by Wars falling in the favor of Vitality here. But Bomb goes down. We will see another buyback for G2. This is our first kind of look of how this battle for Banana will go on. It is Apex completely pantsed on the timing. Nico. Draws the blood, forces Flames to at least throw the incendiary, not paired with the smoke that typically joins it. I have to fight this. At least thinking about it. Yeah, nade it. Nico nicely. Still, <laughs> though, despite the nade, the flash, the swing, he gets it. You know Sphinx is here because of that flash. Do you want to commit? That's the question. Well, he had an SMG last round. Could be easy to exploit. Zywoo is... But uh, going to be few and far between. Yeah, I want to make sure that the util is all full. But uh, considering how this started, yeah. they're, they're going to be leaving with a bit of a sour taste in their mouth. Oh, that second one was brilliant there from Nico on the time. And you could see him looking to a teammate's monitor, asking if he made that kill, calling out his flashed. Would have been great here for JKS to get the double and remove a few more rifles, but have to be explosive, Hunter. Is he planning on hitting this shot on the jiggle? Not anymore, he's not. Smoked off and... They gotta go. Spinks is gonna spam a lot of damage onto Nico G2. They are wounded and it gets worse. Spinks with a double. AK and frag grenade combined, and this could be the perfect vitality round. With five still alive, Hunter, he's a dead man. Spinks might get another, and he's on that same form he was yesterday. Spinks three. And just needs to survive for a moment as Hooksy has been spotted out, and it's Zywoo's turn to fill the feed just like that. Sensational sequence out of the Frenchman. Magis holding strong. JKS will best him. It has to all really be JKS as he tries to isolate the jewel. Eats his flash and still sprays down Zywi for a second. Oh, if they win this one. Yeah, Nico's not looking. Not looking. One and done. Spink sprays them both down. And Vitality just between Zywi and Spinks this time. Step up. A luxury of all having extra cash. And now Monacy has punished Saiwu and could have another. Spinks somehow wasn't spotted. Damn. Yeah, his elbow's pointing out, and Monacy will slap him with that AWP for the pair of frags. Yep, this is lining up for G2 to get just a little taste of victory uh -huh. at the end of that. Monacy styling on him. About time he got something done. Team's been extremely quiet here. 11 4 on the half. You made Nico not ready. Oh, and neither's flames. Turns around. They'll recover one. But my goodness, if that's not a domination G2, they win the pistol. No, no, oh, no, come on now. Just, oh no, oh dear, nades, a recurring theme. They nade out Nico, Modesty stands and trades. He takes down Saiwu, pushing through. This could be good, but Flames is better on the Glock. Takes the upgrade, thank you very much. The site is theirs, the smokes are in, and Hunter's dead to Sphinx. Throwing the towel. Yeah, referee. And, uh, well, the retake is on, but like everything else G2 have tried in this half, well, this map, not this half, uh, it's all over, Red Rover. We're gonna make that uh, four players stay alive, 12 to four. Just trying to delay further, 15, they're gonna have to push through, the flashes are there, so is the spray. Nico takes two, Vitality. Helpless in this one. Zywoo burning down. Just going to try and hold on to what he can. No time. He hasn't even got time. He, he hasn't got time. Just 
Yeah, he'll go down at least. Spinks, ooh, holds on to his rifle. Would have been condemned to just 1,500 there, but keeps hold of it. Maybe for the jiggle of Nico. Oh, information. An orb spotted out. Nico isolated. I think Apex is suspecting he's alone here. Like, oh! Yeah! Oh, he definitely is now. b sites open for business. Apex sniffs it out. Not like this. Not like this. Got Monacy one nails left. Spinks. One bullet left in the chamber. Hunter, he's going to wait for the rotation of JKS. Flames on the site as well. We've got Monacy crawling up Banana. They'll flash him off. But haven't crossed. They force out the smoke. Apex, now he's stuck to this AWP and he still hasn't reloaded. He's trying to keep and delay as best he can. Caught out, flashed off, executed. Flames in the clutch. Three to find. He needs to do something oh. insane. And it's Hunter holding on for G2. What a miserable way that would have been to lose a round, yeah, right. right? Getting caught through the smoke. And, and this is one, it's just pressure, right? Make him drop that smoke. This was the kill, right? This is the pressure from Apex. Yeah, why not? I'm just going to continue to try and apply as much as I can. Getting caught off got just. So great flash work from Monacy there. It really could have been a potent crossfire if he had around that corner. And Apex has actually taken down Monacy. What's that? He's out. Game the orb, but up to JKS. The magnificent oh! sequence. Triple kill from JKS. Playing at his best in a must-win round for G2. But up and over, maybe Magic's got something to say about this one. He's low, but JKS, Mr. Savage indeed. The question is, is that way too little too late? Still a massive mountain to climb back into this, and JKS playing ahead of his pit smoke. Not just waiting, playing in the one way, actually having to be offensive and Ooh. take that fight. So four in total, keeps them in it. Hooksy will get there in time, but they are committing. Perfect flash, JKS. Only 14 bullets now. He needs some help. Who's going to draw blood first? Still hangs in the balance. Flames is going to find him. It's quick from Hooksy back. Magic with a response. Hunter trying to hold on. And G2, is it really going to end like this? Kick it open the front door on A. They find the gap. They turn up the momentum. Speed into the site. Trade out nicely. Flames, Apex, and Magisk with contributions, and now it is hinging on just the two of them. Make it one. Spinks has nailed Nico on rotation. And only Monacy with it all to do. A one versus three for the game. Keep G2 in it. Oh, and he's already been spotted out. Dumping his util. It seems impossible. It certainly is now. 16 secure. Vitality. They break the streak. G2 concede in first. Interesting smoke lineup. They smoke dark and push it. Oh, oh God! Oh, God. So will happen. Hooksy responds, but the damage is done. The round is won. Magisk is coming for you, Hooksy, while you're scrambling to pick up the bomb. Magisk unloads his dual Berettas. It would have to be the last bullet in his USP as he's rocked down to six. And yes, yeah, that's a vitality pistol. Straight back to their winning ways and um, an interesting approach. What do you make of that? Smoking dark as you're pushing it. Yeah, interesting is is, is definitely one way to define it. I can't quite oh. understand. Oh. Oh, come on now. He spotted the barrel. This should be his every day of the week and the in-game leader of Apex falls. Yeah, and Hooksy. Oh, he's next on Zywoo's naughty list. So honestly, he's got him trapped and oh no, a miss and Zywoo will punish. That is oh, a no. big mistake, and it leads to what should be a fifth round. Again, Hunter thrust into an uncomfortable clutch. No bomb. Take your shot. Take your shot. There it is. Sneak. Tidy, eventually. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, and, and really, well, execute once more. They've summoned him. See Magisk. What he's got for them. The flash is coming through. Hooksy's the first victim of the defense. Oh, look and at look at Magisk go. Apex dead. Magis fragging three before they finally fell him. Monacy finds himself a rifle. Would love to find himself a plant. Running that clock down. Running that clock down an awful lot. Will they find it in these final moments? Now we go. Oh, oh Monacy's done it. G2 oh. should. Oh, and Zywoo's dig has saved them. Salt in the wound. They should have had it. G2 felt like they did. Running down the clock. He had low HP. JK has nearly finished him off ages ago. Now, Nico will eventually, but the damage is done. Now, A site should be open, and Flames and Spinks seem to think it's going towards the B site. Yeah, it was a little bit too quiet for the two of them. So they've given up a lot of room here. Nico still investigating slowly. He does allow Vitality to try and get in towards position.
Bomb will go down. Rotation coming through. No kit on either of these two. Pushing in unison. The countryman. Pushing in, finding heads. Nico for the clutch. Trying as hard as he can. Will get the first. Oh. And no! Spinks denies! <laughs> Vitality break back. And G2 sent back to the Shadow Realm. Yeah, that kill just came way too easy there. Opening frag from Flamesy, right? It just goes down. The trade potential not there, not playing in. And this half has already gotten away from them here. Seven to one, consecutive rounds, not the possibility. Look at this. Here we go. This is how Magis got another. 28 HP. Whoa. 28 HP, Alex. Yeah, and they hit him for 27. That, that's Hooksy right there coming in on the flank. You feel that he should have had that kill every day of the week. That is a big one to give over. So many nades for an execute here from G2. 30 seconds, clearing out Fountain. Oh, and Hooksy, he's caught on flames in the defense as well, shaping up nicely here for G2. Magis, can you really have impact with just the Famas? He's got Apex to support, does swing out, does find one. Apex thrust into the clutch, it's up against JKS, and JKS is going for the plant, getting pushed on. Apex, he's clutched up! A quad kill from Mr. Madisclare! They're gonna push for info. Flames jumps through, anticipating them both. Great round out of Hunter. This is all him so far. A triple kill into the site is Nico. Nails it onto Apex. Wow. Uh, we find the... They finally get a bit of breathing room. It's the difference from Inferno. Remember the second round of Inferno? Yeah, that now, was like that 3k that just saved them. He did have a quick teammate, sure. This time round, that won't be the case. Does anything get blown his way? Well, second most T-sided map of the tournament. You gotta be leaving with as close to a lead as possible. This is two attainable. Already. They've already got two kills. Zaiwu will stand to deliver this defense, but the discrepancy of two players, look how well trained JKS is. Doesn't want to give the shot. Baits out Zaiwu, and it's perfect from G2. They close this gap. So many sequential rounds, and they will leave with seven. A fully recovered half, keeping it competitive, promising for a competitive second half in our semi-final. Will G2 be able to take us the distance, or have Vitality got what it takes on the T side? Big chunk of his knee, the flash is coming forward, Zywood turns, it might get double hit, Zywood oh. goes down. Perfect, first bullet out of the USP, and oh, Flames, he's dead too, they're holding on! G2, they want to take us the distance, they'll steal away the pistol. With just the one casualty, Nico with heavy contributions as well. I've been saying that an awful lot. 70% headshots with 17 frags. Yeah, top of the server right now. And we will split the pistols here. He felt tested, the oh, utility in response. Nico's and yeah, Nico is coming fast, hot on their heels from behind. They're not looking. This could be a massacre from Nico. Triple spray with the mid aggress. And that's G2's round taken by force. They are in though, boost is great, and Nico's deadly. Watch out, Flames, you might be his first of many. Beautiful from Nico. Gets them both, and God, we're going to three, surely. With the form we're seeing now, we talked about individuals, we talked about how Vitality felt like they were just winning their duels, and it's not safe from the flash, and maybe passing them in the smoke, and they find him. JKS down, but Monacy, he has managed to nail Spinks, and another shot from Monacy. That could and should be enough to stop the plant. Apex is so low, he's going for the digits now. Hunter's not going to wait. Nade, safe. Apex and Zaiwu to try and avoid 15. And Hooksy's just pushing in. And a missed shot from the York. Zaiwu's dead. There's three to find. He can't connect, and Hooksy can. 15 in the bag. Jewel's coming online. 21 for Monacy is. Oh, hold up. Flamesy's found something here. Monacy will get at one and get away. Apex is. Tilt factor. Might be dialed up to 11 as Zaiwu. Ooh, okay. Takes down Hunter towards Dark. So a lot of opportunities right now for G2. And Flames at least confirms where he's positioned. Now level the odds is Hooksy. Oh! oh, gets Spinks as well. That was the bomb carrier. It has to be Magisk. No other option. In 30 seconds, ops for the fake. It's time, buys time for Monacy to work as well. Round and ooh, inflicts some great damage there. His brain whirring into action. What's Magis got? He talked about impact. Well, he's had plenty of that, but he's not considered the A main push. And Monacy's right behind you. We're going three. Monacy secures it. G2. What a recovery. Yeah, map that started 7 1 down for G2. It was looking like similar.
Hunter, is he going to find the multi-kill? He's got the weapon for the job, but he only gets the one. Good from Magis, continues where he left off. Flames is good as well, that's first blood early. A promising sign of things to come for Vitality as they get that bomb down. JKS partners up with Monacy and Nico to try and turn the tables. Magis just looked away, doesn't get his crosshair back to the face. JKS down, he nails it as well. It's Monacy and Nico though, they are to be feared. Sharp shooters, two on two, Zywu next victim. It's Nico that relieves him of his head. And now Apex, the in-game leader, about to be cleared by Monacy. Catches oh. the diamond, but he can't find the headshots. Monacy and Nico secure it for G2. A number disadvantage retake on the B bomb site without a kit in play. Massive stuff for G2 here. The individuals still firing on all cylinders. They're testing Justin. Oh. What a shot out of flame. Straight to the head of Jake. Yes, he doesn't even get his finger on the trigger. But it doesn't matter when you got Monacy and Nico. Okay, Nico, Warpath engaged. And Monacy, he wants to get another. He wants to match him. So far, they've been going blow for blow with each other. Anything you can do, I can do just as well, says Monacy. Hooksy HE could be perfect here. You see him lets it go and off. Slightly deeper, and Apex would have been a dead man walking. Oof. More disruptive utility. They're going to mop this one up unless Sphinx has something to say. <gasps> one, two. Oh my god! Sphinx has brought them right back into it. A triple kill onto G2. They've been rocked, but Hooksy. They know where he is. How? He threw the nade. Surely. Opex doesn't. That's for sure. Now the one on one emerges. Sphinx with a sensational triple. But will he be cleared on Tetris? Hooksy looking for answers. Has no idea. It's Sphinx! Oh! A god among men in the second round! Massive stuff from Sphinx right there. All those jewels just right in front of his crosshair. Little whistles past the ear, but Hunter again finding impact. Oh. Triple spray down. Nico. Don't worry about him. Nico's here for the double. Just like that, the Kovac cousins tired up. But Sphinx again. Yeah, Sphinx does Sphinx things. Nico doesn't think so. And between the two of them, they get all five. Hitting some shots though, aren't they? Like the aim is on point here. You see, just absolutely clobbered with Sphinx there. Damn, Hunter's just happy to take these jewels and he's looking so quick to that first head. See this one again. Look, bang, first kill, instant. And with Nico's help, they take the whole team down. What's with this Yo. pace from Vitality though? What's yeah. They're coming for him from both our sides. Oh, no way. Hunter Hunt didn't. He pivoted back to mid. Monacy's got no idea. Monacy should be a dead man here. But JKS is trying to hold on. They know the AWP was there. Now they know the rifle is too. Apex, he's got the information. He's still going to take the risk. And it's going to be rewarded. A quick shot to the side of the head. Now JKS knows it's Apex. What a play. He'll get both. The patience is rewarded. And Vitality. We'll find a taste of victory after what's been a while. Five rounds on the trot from G2. Bomb goes off. We'll be securing that one. Just a fam ass for JKS. Maybe it's going to have to be Hunter. JKS does find one. Oh. It's Hunter pushing through the smoke with the final flourish. And G2 etch further and further away from Vitality. Will they get the 10th? This is not going to be easy for Vitality, but the flashes make it so just like that. Nothing but one from Nico. And a sixth, the final round of this attacking half. They're tucked. Time ticks. Apex lives. One HP on that one exchange with Hootsy. Will be finished off by Hunter, but there's the trade. A 9-6 half. It's all to play for. It's all up for debate. Tell your friends, tell your mates, tell your enemies. But as that sails through the air, Magisk has popped Monacy and Hunter has returned the favor. They're into the A side. Oh. Quick clicks out of Magisk and Zywu at least the one. Need another out of oh. Magisk. He's doing it all for the boys in the Vitality jo jersey. Has seven quickly secured. We split the pistols down the middle. Well, they're fighting back with aggression. JKS again the opening. This time onto Zywu. Flames was hot on the heels for the trade. And Monacy, he's caught him back. Flames down. Monacy brought to low on 29. Naded down by Apex to finish the job. Keepers level three on three. This equilibrium only for a moment as Nico grabs his 20th frag. 
And he's got a lot of room, only for a moment. Matt just mantles up and finds him. Sphinx knows Hunter's here. They've been having a duel this entire time. Hunter's just been holding one player's boots in place. So now that Hooksy has picked up the bomb, Hunter, if he commits to this kill, he can draw the rotation, but he needs to make it happen. Ooh. And he can't. Hooksy in a one on two. Uh, he's got the rifle. Wait, Matt just left. Hooksy, he hears them. Smoke is deployed onto the site. Hooksy just has to hit this spray. No one's holding. It's Magisk oh. again, saving vitality, and we continue to trade blows. Beats him with just the rifle, and Hooksy shows him how it's done. He's Picks dead. up the orb. Does go down to Magisk, because Magisk going forward on this. He is. They've got flashes to support. JKS is there as well, poised with the Deeg. And okay, Magisk again, hitting his shots. Hunter, back oh. with it. Nico. Oh, he's nailed one, but Flames, he's good for it. Takes him down and puts Hunter into an unwinnable round with only 27 points of health and Apex already pushed so far up. Hunter might even be caught with his knife out. Scratching his nose. He's not ready for there. Ooh, okay. That was a little awkward. And Nico caught out. Flamesy. Stepping up on the defense, it's Hooksy and JKS. The Keeper's interested though, and Zywu on the flank, but Monacy threw the smoke onto Apex. Doing it without the Cousins here. Let's see what they've got. Hooksy, known to be in the apartments. Should be dead now to Zywu, needs more of that. Monacy under scrutiny as well. Magis coming in from two very different fronts. Bench to be clear, JKS last seen there. Zywu bait, Magis gets the frag, and Monacy left to clutch to break and tip the scales, oh. but Magisk again. We can't stop saying this man's name. First out mid, Sphinx tested and Nico bests him. This is a real fast push now. They're wrapping into B, it's Flamesy again. It's gonna be called upon. He's going wide. Oh, oh Hunter nails him. Zywu up to the plate next. Oh, oh quick headshot out of Zywu. More to be done. Monacy with the gun and the headshot to boot. Magis disconnected. Keeping them guessing. Still got time. Playing wicked games here. Audible heard. Hooksy spotted. Nine bullets left as it's Monacy to take the fight with him. Oh, oh dear. Reaches for the silencer. As G2, they raise their voices. They are in the lead. It seems like it turns the flash. Oh, and Nico nails it. Nothing from Flames. Sphinx, he needs more. Only the one. They're into the site. Up to Apex. What have you got? Nothing other than the headshot. Oh! He gets them both. Nico down. Recovered by the Frenchman. And you can't rush the plant now. Didn't hit it. And Hunter's bringing the fight to them. He feared oh! himself. Oh my god, nearly both. Monacy can close. He's done so much. Oh, and he misses his shot. Three HP. There's no way. Does Apex really get another four kills from the in-game leader? And he says play on. With that AWP. Smoked off. Flames needs help. Flames needs help. And Zywu blind. Oh, Magisk one back. But it's all up to Flamesy on the site. Oh, and Hunter. He's nailed it. What is that from Apex? Drive by. Doesn't finish the frag. It's Hunter Kovac with three. Uh, the timing on that, though, that, that flash from Nico was perfect. The window smoke lands. One father, he's actually going to try and win the round on his own, and it's going to lead to his demise. Punished by Zywu. Monacy onto Magis. Perhaps Apex is next victim as well. They're jumping into the B site. It has to be Flames. It has to be. And Monacy misses his shot. Flames nails him long range. Maybe the boost on Zywu. Get the orb up. Nico not ready. Missed shot from Zywu. What is going on? This is crazy. The burn as well. Zywu. Oh. Gonna... oh, live on. And it's the shot. The nade will find him. What is going on? Counter-Strike continues as Hooksy's in the clutch. He can do this. He certainly can. This would be huge from Hooksy. He's got a clutch in him. He's up against Flamesy. He sees the shot. Oh! Flamesy secures it. And we will play on. More Counter-Strike as that round. That round had everything. So much happening. Magisk, he's been brilliant. Can he find another to take us to the full 30? Sliver gap. Damage onto Hooksy. More coming. More where that came from. Hooksy down. Magis should be traded. Nico provides it. Bodies in. Zywu transfers. And we go the distance. 30 rounds required to separate these two teams. Oh, and the money for G2 is going forward. How forward does Flames go? I think he thinks it's clear. And it could be the Deagle to the head. He's going for the bomb carrier. Gets the one. JKS can't trade. Flames, he's done enough. 
grabs the tech nine. He's locked it off. The molly confirms. This bomb is ours. We're going to overtime. Yeah, it looks that way. Oh, caught out. 20 seconds, just the two of them. Spinks has caught Monacy through the short side. Nico and Hunter, the cousins, for the impossible to end it in regulation. Apex secures it. Only one remains. It's Nico down and overtime required. Walking wonky into the side. Magisk. Oh, supported by Saiwu. Three openings from him. And Spinks built upon it. Monacy only the one as Magisk catches JKS. And again, G2 thrust into these uncomfortable, unwinnable oh! rounds. Zywu plucks Monacy from the air with a no-scope headshot. He's here, and he's pulling Vitality towards the grand finals. One single round is all they need, and G2, they have to be perfect. As it's this time, it's Vitality that find themselves stomaching early losses. Hooksy's just holding this sliver gap, and oh my god, Zywu sits him on his ass and opens up that sight. That is if Hunter is overlooked. Hunter, oh, he's down and out, no way! These are the three heavy hitters of map three. Not the 3v5. They opt for the boost, that could be overlooked. What's going on? He cancels the plant, Magisk. Punching in the code now. And now a retake for all the marbles. JKS is still over in T spawn right now. Monacy's in market. Nico in towards connector. This one is done. It looks like it is. It looks like Vitality have had a spotless overtime here to secure the grand finals this round. Oh, and Zywu just looked away, anticipating for JKS now. Okay, it's up for debate. Perhaps JKS can catch the timings. I was not looking, but look at the time. There's no time for this. They need to be on the bomb. They strike in unison. Up to Flamesy. What have you got for us? What is enough, I think? They have to defuse. He just has to kill oh! Monty. And Flamesy takes them to the finals. Vitality. Slay the samurai in Riyadh. Seven consecutive rounds to take down G2. Get into the action here. Ents on their map pick of Nuke. We'll start on the T side here. And it's a very basic approach and very fast as you might expect. Chaotic as usual. Snappy opens things up. A flurry of flags and shoes. And we've got a two versus two. Bomb not to be planted, but we have got the Molotov towards heaven. It's going to buy them a lot of space here. God damn, they had control of that round for maybe one second and then Dihar comes back into it with a couple of kills. Otherwise, Heroic, if they could slow it down in that moment, they might just have the round. It was a two on four, but it only lasted a second. And now the retake is going to be on instead. Yappy and Tessis, see if they can coordinate between the two. One from Hot, one from Heaven. Some Hyas might be the first victim crouched in. That needed to be a kill. He had the chance. And now, Yabby, how do you get out? I don't even think you can. Crossfire is in effect. And he's going to get a bullet to the face instead. It'll be Ents that picks up the pistol. The kills are being found left and right. Tessis will get the second. Five versus three. No kill available. They need to get their skates on here. Madden desperately spraying bullets towards a single door. He'll pick up a single frag here, but nerds can't replicate it. It's hired into the corner. Have to work in tandem here. The CTs are running out of time. They really are. Even despite the fact that they're getting the kills, it might not be enough here. Yabby gets one, but Madden just has to stay alive for another couple of seconds. They're trying to get on the bomb. They tap it, but it is going to be too late. Sure, they clean up the site. It's a pretty decent round. They get three kills on Yabby. They pick up an AK. So in that sense, it's good. But just the bomb plan alone made the huge difference in the round. They could take him down quickly. The pounce maneuver is coming in now. Yeah, this position is making me very nervous at the moment. The flashbang couldn't have been any better. Good for Tessis with the spray. Oh, oh, he lines them up and knocks them down. Four kills that go his way. And Dihar out there on the silo just on his own. I've no idea how that was so successful. I really thought that first flashbang was going to ruin him. It just didn't turn out that way. Tessis back in form again. So like I said, they even have a couple of flashbangs, so there might actually be a way to slow this down. And Heroic are taking their sweet time, Henry. They're really slow You're down. Right. I hate everything about this. Why are they not moving faster? They're five on three, and they act like they're scared at the moment. Madden's getting a kill. Some pious on the other side. There's no now time. Now it's a two versus three. There's absolutely no time. The spray is perfect, and I think the round is over. Heroic, what has gone wrong? That is unbelievable. We talked about these upper rushes. Might just be trying to get that deep angle and hope for something here. Dihas the rush. in the mix. Yeah, they're going for it again. But this time, getting crossfired between Yabby and Shushin, that's a strong defense. They love this tactic. They'll throw it in five or six times a half. And more often than not, it works. But for now, it is going to be the advantage for Heroic. KD and rotating down towards lower, making sure he can deny the plant. In terms of the bomb, it's in the back of Nerds right now. And he's actually hurting towards lobby, so 
They're just going to slow things right down, see if they can work a pick. And it's Tessess who's on the hunt, knowing Madden is down here. He's very low on health as well. He'll do well to cause any further damage at this stage. They're going towards ramp and walking into the scope of Cadian. This could be horrible. Oh, especially if you don't have your rifle out. You definitely need that. Oh, he's jumped that down and Cadian able to catch him. Oh! No scope on top. It's magnificent. What a play from Cadian. Cool as a cucumber. They're always willing to throw it in. This time it doesn't really work out too well, losing two kills on route. There was still a chance in the round though, but not anymore. Cadian absolutely destroys them towards the ramp. And there is still one bite available for Ents. We tie things up once again, five to five. But the time is running against Ents. 27 seconds. Oh, wow, oh, They've just dropped down. He might have the perfect timing. Yep. He set it up, Henry. Here we go. Snappy gets one kill. And there comes Dio with a backstab, taking down Yabby. Down to 17 seconds. The bomb picked up by Nurch just as we speak. And they should be able to get a very clean bomb plan here. Dio's controlling the high ground for the double and leaving Stown. Locked out of the bomb side in a one versus two. A perfectly played round from Diha so far, as you might expect. He's having a wonderful tournament thus far. It's down two frags to his name, 100 HP, but no utility. He has got the defuse gift out of position, but not out of skill. That's a great shot towards heaven. Surely can't find nerds there, and it will be Ents bouncing back once again. The outside play works out for them after losing the first man as well. It's all about Diha sneaking. That's going to put some pressure on. Only 10 seconds on the clock right now. They need to move. They need to find Cadian with absolutely no interruption. Or they're going to lose the round. The lineup is so good for Cadian. Oh, but what? I don't know how he's done it, but he's come right for the smoke. Takes him down. The jumping Mac 10 comes in from Tessis. And he'll find both the last two kills. That's a good cleanup. And another miracle round here for Heroic that you could say they, they weren't destined to win to begin with. Bare bones in terms of the utility and Snappy once again trying his luck at the squeaky door. Not necessarily a rush, but he's going to give it his best shot to find that opening frag and he's delivered on his promise. Two kills here for Ents and can he finish things off with the clock? My God, yes he can! And KD in the last player remaining. Tenacious move from Snappy. He just took over the bomb side and never looked a back. A solo up a rush. <laughs> Why not? Out towards the lobby and the squeak door. So yeah, you can try, but he's going to get shut down instead. But no hits. So this is going to be a very Whoa. tricky retake coming through. They use the smoke to try and master. Run out onto the scaffolding there. It's going to be a couple of kills going there. Tessis with a shot onto some fires. And Madden's on his own. They're absolutely getting slaughtered. Up in heavens, down with the double. They had the smoke. They had the smoke to try and get out, and it just didn't matter. In the hands of Sun Pires. We'll see what he can make of it. Crucial round here. <laughs> Dia with a scout. What in God's name is that? Takes down Cadian cleanly through the smoke. Lots of damage inflicted here. They'll boost up and towards T Red. Madden, look at how far out he's already. No one's going to be looking at that T Red. Yeah, you would never dead expect on. someone to be here. And you could, oh no, that's not what you want to see, but they still don't know. They're not aware. It's shush. Blinded. He just had no clue. Brutal tool to try and see if they can save the round with. Scout from Diha, he's repositioned and they're not ready for it, but he's not ready for the flank either. Stown coming in and shooting him in the back. Had some good timing. They really crunched that ramp position. We're not done yet though. He can do this. Range. Really, Henry of Shotgun. It's long range. This one. Oh, oh when he okay. just they go and check it. The Molotov hit him. They heard it. Behind the bomb side now. And the Molotov landing in his front door. The move from St. Pius. You're right, his feet were on fire. He's in the back, but he's good for one more kill. He's made it a double snap. He's now chiming in. If they've locked it down, that's all they needed. What a risky maneuver to run at the back of the silo like that. He could have been killed in transition. He could have just been standing right on top of the flames and died with no kills at all, but brilliant stuff from the Spanish sniper. Full send into the upper bomb site, and we're trading out kills. At least Yabi pulls on back here, but Madden has been activated. Starting to do serious damage with this M4. Looking for his third frag, and he delivers. Shush will remain and might be able to pull it back, but Madden can pull up the sidearm and find map points here on Nuke. 15 to 13. They'll make their way in towards the upper bomb site, but Madden chomping at the bit to get stuck in. Acadian hits an absolute banger. There is one more player in towards the rafters here. It's snappy. Can't find much more than one. Have they done enough to take us to overtime? 30 seconds remaining. Kadian scrambling down the vent and his son Pius to do it all. He's in position. Can he find the first shot? Oh, no, he cannot. Heroic have done enough to take us to overtime. But Tessis is well aware. He's realizing that they're going to be up there and nearly gets the timing to spray them both down. Are you going to expect for there to be another player at Squeak, though? He knew exactly what was going on there. Shush, you're right, in a prime position to really bring this one home. There's the frag towards main entrance. Nice flash towards the CT vent as well. Buys himself some space for the interaction with Madden, but he's ready for it. Nerds will pull a frag back as well. Yabby left in a two versus one clutch. 
Needs to find a quick kill and he can't do it. It will be Ents to win the first Ooh. round of the second half here. That's a strong kill to begin the round with. Stout always being found as okay. well. No one can hide from Diha. He's the one that did the damage. Short snapping up through the smoke. Him. I don't know how he does it. Every single time, Henry. He's up to 20, no, 30 kills, sorry, and 23 deaths. So he, he's had a remarkable game once again. A three versus five. And Heroic, the way back into double overtime is looking good for Enz. I don't know if there's anything Heroic could do. Th five versus three. Surely this is a bit of a wash for them. Wow. Completely picked apart. Great mental fortitude here from Enz. Great calling from Snappy, mixing it up in overtime as well. No upper rushes here, changing things up, and it will be double overtime. They'll remain on the T side here. I have to get up the ladder, but Diha once again. Prime position, he won't expect the second, but it doesn't matter. How did he get away with it? I have no idea. Molotov to deny access, and he gets himself a second as well. They might steal this round away. Kadian will have to do it all. Great shot. Two versus two with 15 seconds remaining, Anders. Fox running against them. Someone's picked up the bombs. They're going to go for it right now. No one there to stop it on the high team. Miraculously, they get the bomb plant down in the fading seconds of the round. Acadian thinking about coming through with a 5-7. He walks right into it, but a headshot! And the other side, held by Sun Pai, is not at all bad. Huge round that could well determine the outcome of this particular map. Yeah. We're in overtime. You're desperate for a round. This might be quick. This might actually be Dihar just turning the corner. Yeah, they're going to be running for the flames. They want to go for it. Nerds will get the openings down. Oh. Standing tall. Last bullet left. He gets a triple shutdown. And there's nothing that they could do about this one. Ends. good start to the double overtime for them. But some highest here in a one versus four. There should still be no way, right? He's still very locked in. They know where he is, and two of them have plenty of health, and they're sure to finally find them. The auto sniper not really playing an effect on it, but 19 to 20, and the madness just continues. It really does. Snappy walks right into the flashbang. They're down. Three versus five. Stands on the high ground. Yeah, he, they were gonna get that kill one way or another. Snappy, even if he hits the headshot, it would not have saved him in that moment. So this is something that looks a little bit more interesting. Heroic now tying up the game. Not dissuaded by the flashbang. He holds strong on the angle here. He keeps pushing as well. It's unbelievable. Snappy will back him up. They find the bomb. Is this going to be enough right now? It looks like we might be done here on Nuke. Surely there's no way out of this one. What a time for Snappy to be there. The ultimate captain saving his sniper. And Dihar's going to take down Stown. Yabby and Tessa's two versus five. I think he might be right, Henry. I don't think there's any way for Hero to bring this one back. They've done it once already, but this is too much. Some Pius finds another one. 29 kills on the Spaniard. It's just Yabby left. One versus five. And there's no way in hell he's going to be able to survive this one. He's found oh. by a And hence they win Nuke again versus Heroic. What a game that was, ladies and gentlemen. That sets the tone for this semi final. Yabby just up close, fearless, no backup for him either, no one there to help him out if anything went south. Madden will take one in return though, and he's ready for the second fight. Yabby's still good with a Glock at range, it's supposed to be a disadvantage, but he's making it work. Taking matters into his own hands and delivering on all fronts here. They've still got a smoke, they have the man advantage and the CT reaction. Allows him to have two players still towards B. Nerds in the bathrooms here, and he's going to be tested. Yabby's trying to cause some sort of distraction here as the bomb rotates back towards A. Nice work from Nerds. Every single time there, that's a bit unfortunate. Yabby looking for his third kill, but the bomb is going to be planted, and it's on some players and Snappy to try and bring it back, and Snappy not even waiting for his teammate, just going straight for it. That's risky. Obviously, if he gets the kill, maybe there's a chance, but now it's all on some players. Not really much he can do with this one, Anders, I'm afraid. Three versus one. Yabby has already secured the round. It's just whether he can find a couple of kills, hold on to his Kevlar. If he finds a frag and keeps himself alive, that would be great, but it's not going to happen. Pretty clean and convincing round there. Yeah, so it's a, oh, that's what a yeah. protocol. That's pretty sick, but you can still see there's a gap there. So DR can work with it. This is just a, a remedy to a very unusual problem. <laughs> and it's kind of working out, but they're taking oh, a no. lot of damage on Rue here. Double spray down from Diha. Looks like they've done enough in this force by is looking very promising now. Shush sure, sure, with 12 points of power. Some Pius will close things out here, and it all works out in the end. 2-1. Ents will post their first round here. If they don't win that last round, he doesn't have one for the first five or six rounds. But now instead, they're in a decent position. Madden is snapping. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, the phone. Wait a minute. I take it all back. Somehow they've lost the bomb side. Here we go, the bomb has been planted here. Some Pius drops down from heaven, smokes off towards short as well. We've still got Cadian residing within the smoke. 
No, it's providing covering fire from the heavens here. Sampaio is desperately trying to find Kadian. Not much backup Tessas can provide here. There is a kid at least, and a smoke as well. One good kill, they might do it, Kadian. He wanted the spin around, but it's not going to be possible here. Sampaio, yeah, runs right over the kid. Bit of a bonus scenario, a weird round here. Remember, he could have got the all power, but opted for the SMG. Didn't really do much with it. A missed shot cost Kadian his life here. That's a misstep. d more than happy to pick up the pieces. And in towards A, we potentially go. Tessis is already close towards the bomb site. It's down to nerds now. Amazing performance so far on overpass. Can he keep it going? Oh, he's the only one at the bomb site. So backup has been called for, though. He's got the double spray. is just absolutely perfect. Madden, he was the reinforcements, and he's dead now. But nerds is still putting out the damage. A triple kill on him as he expertly defends the bomb site and puts Ents at five. And they might actually be able to get a plan. We've got a CT spawn boost, so you might not anticipate this. And Shush can't do anything with the orb. He's naded before he can even pull out the scope. The eagles remain otherwise. Tess and Stown, known to be deadly with these desert eagles. Recovering the orb. Set up Stown with a clutch, you never know. There's the first, that's what we were looking for. Now there's the shot with the AWP. Two on two, this is definitely possible now. Desert Eagle has to connect, and it's a one versus one. They've actually potentially pulled this one off. Nerds has run out of bullets here, has to go to the USP. Can he finish things off here? He can, and he has got enough time. Recovers the AWP, that was way too close. All things considered, the half by still goes in their favor, but still down to a one versus one. And it might be easy on some of these rounds because they just don't have the weaponry or the grenades on the other side. Good flash, good grenade around the corner, but Snappy's up close and personal. And that submachine gun will take care of business. He can't quite get the 180, but they're still trading favorably at the moment. Still oh, fine, wow. Madden. He couldn't escape. He needed to jump back down behind here. And now Diha just with the pistol in hand. Sunpire showing up at the last possible <laughs> second to save his teammate. Oh, the timing is amazing. And wow. Kadian, 20 health on his own. I can't believe Sunpire was there just in the nick of time. Well, Kadian. He does like a clutch. It has to be said, Anders. And this one's well within his wheelhouse. Bombs should be planted unless he gets spammed. Oh. Just like that. Unfortunately, the USP will get the better of him. Nice work from Sunpires. Aware as usual. He's going to get that one. And look at how it funnels heroic. They've lost control of the other side of the map. So they know they might as well go for it. Making a lot of noise. Easy for Nerds to pick that one up the spray. He continues. Oh. A double and nearly the triple. Look at Shush practically bleeding out over at long. Running into the Deagle. I can't believe it. That should have been it. Diha getting the kill. And now it's just Shush left. I think they've done enough. I think Nerds has done enough in this round. So calm in those scenarios. Like most players would get one, maybe do a bit of damage on the second, but you always know he's going to deliver. What a pickup. Nerds has been for Ents. And he had to confirm the round as well. Nothing Shush could do. He had about 10 health there, and it's going to be 9 to 5 here, looking for double digits. And that was the force up. Anyone's round, but a lovely setup here. This position, you might not expect it from Snappy. Good for one kill, I would say, at least. There's the kill. Going to try and drop off here. The crossfire is beautiful. Four versus two. Double digits on the line, and they've guaranteed it. This is looking magnificent as Tessas will fight for his life. He's got to find three more kills. Doing a good job so far. There's the double. Surely he can't pull this one off. Oh, Sampai's is right there. Coming in from the connector. Great work overall. Ten to five at the end for Enz. And now they've lost track of the scenario. He is overworked in his spot now, and he hits oh my the most important shot of the round. Finds the bomb, buys a ton of time, and they're going to try and take him down here. He jumps down towards the water, and he is doing such an incredible job here. How is he still alive? He's desperately trying to plant the bomb. We're down to a three versus two, but in favor of Heroic. No, it's back here, sending no bullets way. their way. He's seeing even more headshots. He's out of control at the moment. Madden's trying to take away what? attention, but Nerds, he won't stop. He can't be stopped here. The duel, he's finally taken him down, but he's taken three people with him into the grave. And Yabby, not a kit on him. This is 10 seconds. Madden playing it really, really well. He had a tough time out on long. Yabby's looking for him, and now he knows, Madden, there's no defuse happening. He's got all day. I don't think there's anything Yabby could do. He needed to find Madden right around the corner, and now it's just way too late. <laughs> <laughs> he's playing high. <laughs> and seek. He's going to be so frustrated. Why is he nowhere to be found? And Madden comes in for the kill. Expertly played. I don't think Madden even knew it's on the bomb side. I don't think he heard the defuse attempt. They might not be able to afford it again before they lose the, the semi final oh. here. Sunpires is taking on Stan to begin with. It's not the start you'd want. Look at the flashes in the hands of Madden already. Shush here. The spray down is amazingly well timed before the flash goes off. Flash comes very, very late in that round. I don't think that's what they needed. Still. Somehow it's a two versus two. Sunpires picking up a couple of shots. Madden with the AWP taking over that duty from his oh, friend. Katie, look how far away he is. He knows it's over. He, he can do nothing. He has to save Anders. 
Let's just have a look at that player cam. You can see the frustration setting in. You have a list in the back of your head of big rounds, big games where you messed up something, where right. you didn't turn up. You obviously don't want to be adding to the list here. If you're Kading, you must be dreaming of this being the one time where... Look how overworked he is. He has so much to look at. One smoke in his hand, he's going to throw it towards Monster. The and jumping is making me so nervous. Got some pies on <laughs> yeah, the Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm just, Good point. He's actually going to get him as well, isn't he? He's going to get him. Yep. Like, you called it, Anders. Well played. I wouldn't have spotted that. And it's going to be Kadian who has to find two kills at the very least. He's got the timing. He does have the timing. Oh, he's made noise. He's made noise. He's heard. Yep, Nurse has got him. They they're, gonna, they're all going to be aware of it now. They're going to be looking at him. Yep, there it is. It's done. GG, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be a grand Ooh. final for Ents, as Heroic just didn't turn up whatsoever in this second map. One of their worst performances I think I've ever seen on this particular map. And It's got to be. And at the worst possible time as well. You could see the desperation in their play. Shush with a little bit here, but it's really running out. Yeah, he's actually able to do a little bit more, but Nerds is still alive. Healthy as all hell, and it's just one health left. It's Nerd with his 26 kill, and it's Ents making another grand final. Undefeated in the tournament so far. Another 2-0 for Ents.